Hey Gems, how you doing? This is V Domino. How's your day going today? Hope you all had a very, very good Chrissy. Uh, what I am working on at the moment is Mountain Kingdom 50 by 50 round by Create Love Share. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I had started doing my whip and chats where I actually, uh, not my whip and chats, I was doing lives to you know talk to everybody's comments via lives um, with the way things are at the moment with the, all the Christmas all the all well basically everything going on um, I just decided that I'll just do a quick whip and chat I'm due back at work tomorrow um, so I thought I'd do a quick whip and chat catch up on all the comments um, and then start the week nice and fresh. I'm going to go down from there. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to do a place a couple of drills down there, get my line, and there we go. Okay, so firing off with the comments. I might actually bring this a bit closer. Excuse me while I do this. This is me rearranging things. Um, and I will point out, see how we've got all this blue? That's actually this whitish colour, although there is no, well, there's a little bit of white in this, but that's not really white, but bluish colour. And you can actually see lines. This is why I don't use a multi placer. I used a multi placer there. That's why I prefer to place one at a time. I can't get my multi placer, I can't get my lines nice when I do multi placer. And I know we get there and say, well, it doesn't really matter. Because when you're at a distance, you know, sometimes you don't really see it, but I do, I see it. Um, so yeah, we will start with the comments. Um, the oldest one that, that's uh, waiting for a response is actually from Marissa, which is from the vlog on the 19th of December. So the heifer, <laughs> her comment was, Hugs girl, the park is gorgeous. Yes, that's central, well, that's our central park. Um, and she goes, I would have gone back for the coffee. <laughs> uh, oh, you just can't leave your coffee behind. I think um, I've done it once, but I was, I left my coffee behind once, but it was, I was a lot further down the track, so... Um, track down the road so going back was not an option at all because then I would have been extremely late and then saying I'm late because I left my coffee at home just doesn't cut it no. okay so yeah thanks heifer <laughs> okay 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 next one is 18th of December, the smart ass and sass, um, and I need to stop referring to it because not the the sass, but the reason why I've got a comment there. Um, the reason I've got the comment that I've got is from Fee from Oz, who's just down the road somewhere. She's not far from me. Um, can't believe someone said your nails are awful. They have no taste. Because your nails, nails are always gorgeous. Um, these are in need of replacing now. Need to update them. Uh, the live comment catch up on December the 20th. Kathy, we were just sorry I missed your live. She was sleeping. Um, that's because I'm doing, that's those lives have been done you know, late at night here. Uh, yeah. Okay, we got some more down. Yep. Hi, and then we go 20th of December when I made the cheesecake that's the comments that are coming through from that one uh, that was just vlog 35 Michelle that cheesecake looks so yummy caramel cheesecake oh my god that looks so scrumptious from Anna now that caramel cheesecake did not get eaten on that night which at that night which I did mention on the next vlog Hang on, looking for more ones. There's another one there. A few more over there, so I'll keep going. Yep. 
Uh, then the next one, vlog 36, which is 21st of December. So I showed the Zoom Zoom box because that had arrived. Um, so Anna's got a nice tour, but Disney box looks interesting. Um, I had Fee from Oz. Yeah, the Disney box definitely does look interesting. Fee from Oz going, hey, those those food vans in Mount Lawley on a Monday evening. Heard they're really good, but we're not been yet. Is it worth going? Definitely, Fee, go. Check them out. There is so many different foods there. And Mealy, which is on the side towards... <laughs> Here you go, guys. You're about to find out one of my favourites there. Uh, the side, it's on the side towards, on the side that the Shire buildings are, um, or town, town hall buildings type thing, um, is the Greek donuts. You get the round balls covered in, you get the salted caramel, which is, you know, salted caramel and it's got nuts on it and oh my goodness, that's all sorts of goodness in that. They're absolutely yummy. Nathan doesn't like those and now it doesn't matter because he can't have them anymore anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's tempting to go early <laughs> go to work early on a Monday to go yeah let's go stop there usually could stop there on the way home on a Monday afternoon okay there is all the three all the ones um, Donna's I love all the tours you do thank you <laughs> Kendra Maroon 5 True I'm going to pause here gonna pause right here um yeah okay I've just pulled this up this is this is for you Kendra sorry Kendra I had to do that um that is my alarm that's the song that I have that goes off from my alarm um yeah, can you imagine that? <laughs> you and I go hard at each other coming up, you know, <laughs> while I'm at work. Yeah, while somebody, while I'm not at work and can't kind of turn it off. It's just one more night. It's, it's like, you know, it's one more night. Let me sleep. Okay, um, I'm going to do the threes now, which are the red, a lot of the reds. Um, I'm just trying to see the... Code number 10 and 318. Yep. And like those reds, it's actually grey. That's how deceiving these this canvas is with the colours. Right. Okie dokie. So there you go, Kendra. That's the uh, Maroon 5 tune. And hey again, Kathy. How you doing? Okay, next comment was... Hey, Gems, no vlogs for the next few days. Hey, my contract family on the period. I do have some videos, but no day-to-day -day vlogs. Yeah, I paused the vlog so that I could enjoy Christmas with the family. Um... I'm going to do, I will come back to the vlogs on the uh, 1st of January. Um, I had, oh, I don't know whether it, well, I reckon it showed at work, but I had a bit of a downer depression kind of thing. Um, I identified it reasonably quick. Um, so, although I can't see my doctor, I have actually upgraded my antidepressants by one tablet so that I can try and get my, get my shit together and start being normal. <laughs> um, and I just needed those tablets to kick in. I was, yeah. So I didn't know whether I was going into depression or a manic, this nemanic state, so most of all the telltale signs were depression but there was just some little manic stuff that I was doing but that's just 
yeah, probably me overcompensating for the depression that I was feeling. So already on depressants, but I'm on such a minimal dose that I just, um, I don't need to go up much. I'm very responsive to these. So yeah, I took these, tab I've been back on these tablets, been back on them for two nights. Yeah, two nights. Um, and I'm now not wanting to cry. <laughs> Um, yeah, the end of December is always a hard one for me. I mean, I will say it now. I wasn't going to do it at the Christmas, like the Christmas premiere, because I struggled with talking on that one. I so what happened? I just so you're aware of why I struggle with Christmas. My we lost um, my my closest brother to me. Um, we lost him on the thirteenth of December. His birthday is actually the. 14th of December uh, and what happened was I brought the Christmas tree I we organized for the family to come up for Christmas and um, you know I brought brought this Christmas tree I was doing everything everything was organized the family was coming up we were all going to do this big get-together for Christmas at my place it was going to be my first Christmas where I'd have my family at my place so it, you know it's it was a big thing and then um, basically the day after I got the Christmas tree was um, when he passed. So we ended up going from a situation of big celebration, family reunion, all of that, um, to family reunion for a wake. So yeah, he's he passed on the 13th of December. 14th of December was his birthday, so you know that brings up mem you know makes it hard. And then his service was actually the 23rd of December. So I struggled all the way. And even like my Christmas tree, it takes a nudge from Nathan for me to put that Christmas tree up because that Christmas tree was, you know, my brother didn't see it, but he was supposed to be coming up to see it. So, you know, it's just, that's why I struggle with Christmas and I know I go into a bit of a depression and it needs a little bit of a nudge to, I need a little bit of a help to stay out of it. Um, but, you know, I, I'm fully aware of it. Um, I dare say my boss was has probably noticed. Um, normally I can handle a lot of stuff. I handle stress well. Um, but I just wasn't dealing with just day-to-day -day things, so yeah. Um, so now we have, we did have a great Christmas. So Michelle is wishing me, I feel like take this time to wish you and your family a very Merry Christmas and a safe and a happy New Year. Thank you, Michelle. Um, I really do, really do appreciate that. Um, I hope you had a good Christmas. And 2021, I hope there's some improvements. <laughs> Uh, but it's going to take a lot. But, yeah, I'll leave that one there. <laughs> okay, now on to next one, vlog, 23rd of December. Okay. And that was when, oh, well, is this the 22nd? I uploaded on the 23rd. That was the one where... I went to the mall, I actually brought something for the house. Oh my god, that was funny. Airplane going over. We don't hear them that very often. Um, yeah, went to the mall. I actually did go and purchase um, a, a juicer. Now Nathan and I, we have a juicer that Nathan uses every morning. And he had killed it on that morning of the 22nd. So, you know, he went to work for day, for his normal day. And then night shift came along and I went to work. Went to the JB Hi-Fi to get this um, juicer. Um, and, you know, took you for a walk around that mall. Those malls were beautiful. So that was two malls, Hay Street and Murray Street malls. And for us at work, we're not normally allowed to leave uh, and wander around the city uh, on night shift unaccompanied so there's usually meant to be two of us however because of the mall and the people it was 
totally different um, where I would you know I was able to go without any concerns of my safety whereas had it been a normal night um, yeah I wouldn't have gone and walked but there was just so many people around it was so pretty and I just had to share um, it was a, ah, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was a Nutribullet, the juicer. Um, yeah, so I'd gone in and gotten the Nutribullet for Nathan, or well, for me as well, um, but for Nathan. Oh, hang on. I oh, know that was a three. And yeah, we, I came home in the morning and it was come home from night shift to discover that that Nutribullet, he had brought a new one as well. <laughs> And it's like I send him a text message going, you brought one. <laughs> and so, yeah, we had a bit of a chuckle that night and the next day talking about it. Anyway, so, yes, the mall was very festive and Brittany loved that it takes places. Even though I'd love to see Australia myself, probably will never get to see it. So thank you. Michelle Mills, the tour around the city and shopping centre are very pretty with all the lights. Thanks for sharing. Love the tour as usual. The fireworks light were cool and the busker was great. Glad you supported him. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, he was. Um, that song, the Snow Patrol song, I love that song. And I don't know if you guys watch Grey's Anatomy. It's uh, It featured prominently on Grey's Anatomy. Um, I think it was season two. Um, but, yeah, it was... It actually it brought some emotions through to me, so yeah, it was really really cool to watch him, you know. And yeah, you know, buskers, it's the young young buskers. I don't mind giving a little bit of cash to to because you know they're out there doing they're putting effort into um, their lives and what they're doing, and it's totally different to a kid that was to to a kid that's you know sitting at home and playing games, but. Not that I'm against kids that sit at home playing games because that was what my boys were like. Um, but yeah, okay, next one. <laughs> it was the Jeremiah Morelli, the Better December promo. Hopefully you guys have had a look and checked them out um, with the new images that are out. Um, yeah, so... <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, that is an adorable, adorable picture. And I was so lucky that I got my first choice. I was so wrapped to get first choice. It was brilliant. Um, so yeah, and it's gone. Ha! <laughs> kept looking for the pa looking at the paper, try and find where, where find where the mushrooms enjoy. Um, Gemin, Jess, Diamond Crafter, welcome. I think this is the first time I've seen you comment. I'm stunning. I'm so jealous. Uh, Kendra, Sai. Cover might has arrived Monday. Love them. Thanks so much. Merry Christmas, my friend. No, wor no worries, Kendra. I hope you liked what they were. Well, actually, no. You said you love them. <laughs> um, yeah, I've still got... I haven't heard, but I've still got two more to arrive in the US. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, what if, that's two people that aren't expecting to receive cover minders. Um... I get that they're in the post. I have, uh, I know they're in the US. So, yeah. Okay, so, and Donna loves Jeremiah Morelli. His artwork is beautiful. Um, I did a comment. Um, Merry Christmas, Gems. Hope you have the opportunity to share this day with loved ones near and far. Um, Mana, Merry Christmas, you too, and your loved ones too, Fee. May you have a blessed day. It was a really nice, quiet day. It was brilliant. Okay, so <laughs> the next one was next one. The comments is the <laughs> the Christmas premiere. Now, on that Christmas premiere, if you didn't see it, go and check it out. <laughs> I did put a link there directly to where the chubby bunny starts. Um. But I showed, I will say, I showed my, my son, the chubby bunny. <laughs> and he was like, you need to make that just one video. So um, I will do that. 
I will share that as a one single video um, in the new year. Uh, if So I'm just leaving it as where it is right now so that you can go check out the premiere and possibly check out the other premieres that were happening at the same time. Um, all the Christmas premieres if you have, didn't see them. Um, yeah, and then I that night, Christmas night, I actually did show that to... Um, to so I did show it to someone and she was she cracked up and was like I love it and she turned around and she said you get any more challenges she's up for it so we might come to a situation where if there's a challenge I might contact her and say hey do you want to come and do a challenge <laughs> um, uh, she yeah she, she she's she's an interesting top chick so yeah um, we go it's actually the couple that we go camping with and we're doing a massive camping trip with them next year to Karajini. Um, yeah, so it was just a case of we were around there and I showed her and she gets cracking up. So she wants, she reckons I should do that as a separate video just to share it with everybody, especially, um, yeah. Some of the comments that I came out with, my son was, when I was, we were doing that, my son was, mum. <laughs> that's funny and the the yeah whoops get in there get on the right spot yeah so some of the some of the things that I came out could be taken out different ways but you know ah oh, it was fun so anyway the comments on that one Nick uh, thanks for the laugh great video uh, Anna's gone love actually is one of my favorite movies too but all-time favorite movie has to be Miracle on 34th Street with Edmund Gwen, Natalie Wood from 1947. Thanks for sharing your life with us. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. AE Sales, you made me LOA. Thank you. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Laurie went, replay. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Loved your chubby, chubby bunny challenge. Um, Dawn Lee, oh my God, I just peed my pants watching you play chubby bunny. You are the best. Um, Mr. Premier, but want to stop in and say hello. Thank you, Abigail. Um, Gail, S, hashtag replay, happy holidays, anxiety, art adventures, hashtag replay, Merry Christmas. Uh, Dawn at the time, she goes, it's 8.47pm on Christmas Eve in Wichita, Kansas. We had snow flurries yesterday, but it's just cold and windy today. Best wishes to you, your sweetie, your family, and your fame, fa and your fur baby in the coming year. Stay safe, he healthy, and happy. Thank you so much for host hosting. We love you bunches. Thank you, Dawn. Um, Diamond Painting with Dreamer, replay. Great video, nice twist on the challenge. I had to do it. So Kathy then go going to bed early, got to work in the morning. Rivka said it's an awesome premiere. And Kathy's saying hi, Fee. Um, those premieres were so much fun, so much fun. I I was very. I've attended a lot of the the, the premieres, but I didn't talk. I didn't get in the chat. Um, just it's pretty cool to watch some of the chat going by. But it was just I was listening and diamond painting. Yeah, you know, just chilling and drilling um, and it was great to be able to know that I was going to be talking you know right way round I'd be talking to I'd, you know I was jumping into these premieres and how was Pippa's opening well the her Pippa's premiere but the end where she shows the trip around the world it was absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant and I will say again Pippa thank you for organizing it you yeah, you, know, you organise that so well, especially considering what you're going through at the moment. Um, well done, well done, and getting everybody organised. Okay, then we have the one I released yesterday. So I'm nearly up to chat. Yesterday, um, Monday Mail Crew Hall.
Um, Donna, can't wait to see the storage completed. Love it. Great haul. Love the two gnome paintings and the clock. And Laurie, that love the box and water bottle. Thanks for sharing. No worries at all. Always happy to share. And when I got contacted by them, it was just like I saw these different items and it was like, oh wow, I'm going to try this. I've got to try this. I've got to try that. You know, they give you, this company gives you like $25 voucher to apply against your order. So, you know, when I saw that there was also buy five get one free you know that was another thing to go yeah i'll definitely buy but i saw all these extra goodies in there and it was like okay i haven't seen that i haven't seen that i haven't seen that i've got to go get these because i don't know whether anybody else has seen them and i wanted to share them so the clock is done and it's keeping time sorry i was just looking at it there it is keeping time I don't have it on the wall yet. Um, I don't know where I want it to go. Um, and because I have particular spots for, I all, oh, oh, in this craft room I have spots where I know I've got one that painting on that side. I want to put one on this wall here. And I know which one I want there. Um, I've got the two walls behind me. So I've got the wall there and this one here has nothing. And then I have this very short wall here. I know I've got what I want to go there, but I'm thinking on the wall here where I've got the Lafay's, um, the little fairy on the moon. I might put the clock above that. Uh, at something where I get, I get Nathan to hang things. Uh, me, well we have we have brick walls, so he's got to use the. To be able to fasten them up properly, he does get to and he uses the hammer drill and drills a proper hole and puts the plugs in so you know protects the wall and holds things properly. Yeah. And I know if I put something up, <laughs> I just use hooks with stick on things. <laughs> he hates even blue tack, so you know. But yeah, <laughs> he, if he walked in and saw something up on the wall that he didn't install, he'd be looking at it going, radio, that's going to fall down. Your handiwork is going to fall down. <laughs> so he comes along and fixes things. But that clock, looking stunning and is storing, keeping time, which is fantastic. Okay. Um, I've got, so the next one I want to do is the tissue box. Now, for those of you, I got it there, no. The, I'm going to, I've got a reason for this tissue box. So I, when I actually kit up, I put the plastic bags inside this little box. I just went and grabbed the box. I also did sneeze. But, so I use this box. I stick my plastic bags in there when I'm kitting up. And then I open that up and throw, throw everything out. It just keeps them contained. Um, so what I'm going to do, that'll get replaced with this tissue box. I will use that for it so um, yeah it's it's I've got to obviously I've got to get it done now but yeah it shouldn't take too long and I will seal that with aqua glue so there'll be a demonstration on using aqua glue to seal that because that will get it's not like it's going to go up on the wall and not get touched it will get moved and moved and moved so I do believe I'm going to need to one of the best things I can do to help protect it is actually use the aqua glue, but the sticky on that's pretty strong, so we'll see. Um, same as the drink bottle, I think the drink bottle, the Superman drink bottle on that uh, Koo Hall, I'm going to have to sort out and glue that down as well. Um, you know, I don't think it's appropriate for me to give to my grandbaby as yet, but down the track I can put give it to him babe maybe um, my 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 kids are well <laughs> my grandson's my grandbaby's dad and mum <laughs> let's keep let's put them that way my grandbaby's mum and dad <laughs> are into anime and stuff like that so they do like that type of I suppose artwork type kind of thing where it's not the American 
side I don't know how to put it but yeah anyway so that's on the cards I have oh, my craft room is a mess again I've got subscription boxes building up now I did build some drawers for subscription boxes um, but I recorded the process and yeah that's not a good good thing what what happened there was not a good thing <sighs> yeah well, when you remove when you lose when you don't have enough storage and you're going okay I don't need that video I've done that I don't need that one and you start deleting and then you accidentally delete something that you've done that you haven't shown yeah not impressed with myself on that one so yeah that's uh, so I've got to do another one of those but that's okay because I've got lots of storage boxes um, I do have three Disney boxes I want to wait until I get four before I do that as storage but I do have now the I've got four smart ass and sassy boxes there so I will be doing I have to do up a set of boxes for that okay um, the other thing is now the Kathy Delonce that we that we were given with the geisha in it from Die Moon Shop. She has to get framed and put up on the wall on that space there. <laughs> so I've got to get her frame. I've got to frame her. She is just going getting framed on um, same particle board as the Lafise that I did. Um, I'll try try and remember put an information box on to how I did the Lafise but with this with the one for um, her I will for, for the geisha I will actually um, she's going on to red particle board and the red's going to show around it um, number 10 let's put that back one of the easiest simplest process well, S storage containers um, and number 31 when you're working with baggies all I've got is these divided into fives so they're easy to find the bags are organized in groups of five easiest way especially when you've got bags provide when they're coming bags okay so number twos see how it doesn't look red anymore Seven, two, seven, yeah. Okay, so that's where we're standing so far. That's just, oh, and this is only about half an hour. Whip and chat. Covered the comments. Um, what have I got coming up at work? Two days, two nights. I will be, I will be at work when uh, the clock ticks over to 2021. So New Year's Eve, I will be, I'll leave for work on New Year's Eve. So I'll leave for work on 2020 and I'll come back in 2021. And that's when I will come back to, I've locked it back to the weekly, the daily vlogging. Um, okay, I have to pause there. Okay, I'm back. So I completely lost track of what I was doing, where I was at, where I was talking. Um, yeah, oh yeah, so yeah, I'll be um, be back uh, vlogging next year. I will see, uh, hopefully I will, well I very much doubt it, but it'd be nice to think that I'm, it'd be nice to be not on the board when it turns midnight, but couldn't be that lucky. So we will um, hopefully there'll be some fireworks that we can take some video footage of. I will try to if 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 it's there if it's happening. Um, but I think some of the outer suburbs do the fireworks. 
uh, some of the fireworks, some of the suburbs that are actually on the coast, um, they do them over the coastline um, this time of the year, being summer. Um, there is sometimes fire bans that go on, so they can't actually do the fireworks, or they can do the fireworks if they're doing them over the water. <sighs> okay, case 31. Now, wise 24. Nine at nine six nine sorry nine six six and on to the wise. Okay, then what else have we got going on? So the vlogs will be coming back. Um, oh, Sophie and Toffee, their next box um, is the tarot cards, and I will. I will say the tarot cards I am not that keen on they are shakers um, I struggle with shakers uh, the tarot cards though I I can't see me using them for anything at all um, yeah so there will not be a January Sophie and Toffee box from me this will be the first one I have skipped ever they do give you a sneak peek into what it's going to look like and I've looked at it and just like yeah no it's it is not not for me um, although I can see it'd be cool for some other youtubers that do resin work um, it's not for me not that box uh, okay so that's the wise let's go to the L's Twenty-four. Or oh, do I want to go? I might go with the X's, just for something different, different colour scheme. Um, X. 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 X is number twenty. Nine three one. There we go. Let's get some X's in there. Um, yeah, so no Sophie and Toffee box coming up for January. I do have the Zum Zum box. Now, that is UV resin. So if you understand what UV resin means in this channel, it means I'm generally going to be doing it as a live. I do need to put an order in with Sophie and Toffee and get a bucket load more UV resin uh, so that I can make some more colour minders. Um, right, so that's that side of things. What else have we got going on? Not much. So I've got to do a framing. I've got to do work on the Zoom Zooms, but I might work on the Zoom Zooms outside of a YouTube world, um, but then when I do go live I will have some to show you beforehand and might give some away I have a tendency to give stuff away uh, not sell give away so I just yeah um, I've discovered that so if I get <laughs> shipping for, for the US I will say is <laughs> is expensive Whereas if I send something to the UK or even Ireland, um, it's less than a quarter of the price than sending to the US. Yeah. So, mm, quite an interesting, interesting situation with postage there and just, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'll uh, have to work on some, some of the Zoom Zooms before I actually go live so then I can um, show some cover minders off um, they're pretty cool they're pretty cool stuff 
but I mean you haven't seen the box yet so I can't even say this is what's in there this is what I'll do but what I can say is I can make cool cover minders um, what else is there going on that's about it this is only a short whip and chat what's going on oh <laughs> bow okay so we've got a problem with bow um, we now we have him <laughs> we have put him on to a small of stuff because his stomach isn't playing the game he's he's having issues when I went and did my um, back garden back lawn pickup uh, to clean up after Bo I've just looked at things and gone oh no he's he's not pooping right so what we've what we're doing we've got to I've just given him some laxatives yesterday uh, if if he still stays in the same same thing happening if it does if if things don't change he it has to go off to the vet so we're just hoping that the laxatives will just soften things up a bit he's still able to go but not not properly now to get disgusting here when you see a dog he poos a certain size and when they don't poo that size you know there's something wrong that's what's happened <laughs> yeah <laughs> lovely conversation <laughs> his poop is not right poor dog so there's something going on with his tummy um, and we're hoping to soften things up for him to help him in that way but basically my concern is that there might be a bit of an obstruction so we might need him to go to the vets but we've been told like he's still drinking he's still eating and he's still pooping it's just more than how it's coming up so it is a case of <laughs> sorry guys just realizing this is a bit disgusting and probably oversharing but it's bow um, yeah so we've had the discussion about you know just try and get him help him go normally with just to soften things up um, if that doesn't work after a couple of days it's into the vet to actually uh, look at doing something a bit more invasive um, but we're hoping that this is just it's better off that we can manage to soften things up soften the blow for him just to help him out that way and then instead of having to go through you know for anything you know if it is serious the vets will have to assist uh, as in they will probably have to actually operate on him we just don't want to do that especially not his age uh, yeah so we'll see we'll see um, I will be I've got to hit the shops today I will be going and getting seeing if I can find some canned pumpkin because apparently canned pumpkin also helps soften things up and that may be able to help him so um, stay tuned for a bow update and it's on how he's going um, yeah I won't show you pictures of poop that's oversharing um, so yeah so he's he is okay he is still wagging his tail he is still happy he's a bit quieter um, he yeah he is noticeably quieter but he is still wagging his tail he gave me a scare the other day before we noticed the issue with his poop he gave me a scare the other day I've like I come when I come when I come home he's normally at the door you can normally hear him clapping around on the, his nails clapping on the floor um, and like this time I've come home and there's no sound and then you know like even coming in I'm noisy I'm making noise still no sound I've gone into the front room not quietly gone in the front room and he's lying on the couch not moving um, 
I have basically gotten to the point where I'm not like getting there and I'm putting my hands on him going, please don't be cold, please don't be cold. And just as I put my hands on him, his little tail wagged. It's like, oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> not being morbid, but once, you know, once, yeah, just that he was lying there so still. And especially now when I realize there's something going on with him that needs to be resolved. Yeah, so, you know, it's just, I'd say him being so quiet and not happy at that point was probably because of what's going on in his, in his poor little tummy. Poor little thing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, stay tuned for bow updates. We'll see what happens. Um, very, it's, it's concerning and, like, we hear him go outside, so we... Poor thing. We go to the door or to the glass window and we look out quietly behind the blinds without you know peeking out peeking out the blinds without him trying to make it so he doesn't see us looking at him. It's not nice watching an animal poop anyway. But we're watching him, watching him closely so that we can see when when you know, we're actually watching him for, for to poo properly. Yeah. Anyway, that's that's enough about that cop sub subject, but he's still happy he's still wagging his tail um yeah so canned pumpkin hopefully i can find some hopefully 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 <laughs> um what else going on oh my huh. got a couple of things happening my mum is coming up in middle of january Hey mum, if you're listening, hello. So she's coming up middle of January. Um, we're going to do a bit of a late Christmas get together with my other brother. Um, yeah, we'll do a late Christmas catch up there. <clears throat> so I'll see one of my nephews, so my brother and one of my nephews will be coming up with him. Um, that's that side of things. Hang on, still looking for the X's. There. Um, and Dion, my, my boy is going to be coming back and moving in back home for a bit. Um, he's been sharing his He's been sharing the house with his ex-girlfriend. So when, when they split up, they somehow managed to remain amicable, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and he's been staying there. But now um, things have occurred, nothing horrible. You know, they've, in the process of his name off the lease and refunding him his bond, uh, and then once that's done, um, he'll be coming and living here. So what I've got to do is, he doesn't have much in the way of furniture, which is really good. Uh, he says he doesn't need much in the way of storage. So he is basically going to take up the guest bedroom, which means anybody else comes and stays at our place, they'll have to go sleep on the sofa bed. We don't have a nice rough, automatically ready bed to go. Okay. Didn't think that belonged there. Hang on. Tweezers. Um, I didn't think that belonged there. Right. Uh, yeah, so he's going to come back and live at home. Um, not quite sure what date but it'll obviously be after his grand comes and stays. Um, yeah. Oh. So that'll be good. Um, it's going to be a little bit of a change for us, uh, purely for the fact that I'm going to have to start wearing pants at the house. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that's the one thing that's like, oh crap, he's going to be home. I have to wear pants. 
um, yeah oh, so yeah he's gonna come and stay he's gonna I think the plan is is for him to save um, and yeah get himself in a I mean he is really good at saving anyway but without having to pay rent he will be able to get up a huge amount of money for um, deposit for a house and all of that or whatever he decides to do he will have money behind him to uh, back him so which is really good really good um, looking for more X's that's okay that's an X there that's all the X's okay I'm gonna go into the sevens now what's the seven where's the seven um 32 347 seven. um yeah so he's going to come and, and move back home save some money decide what he's going to do with his life no <laughs> not quite he i think he's got a plan but um the plans take time uh, he was looking at buying an apartment in the city you know and he's looked into the cost of strata fees all that side of things um, you know we've just turned around and said I've turned around I've actually turned around and said well if you get one in the city make sure it's two bedroom and then I can stump, come and crash at your place when I'm on night shift so I can sleep there during the day and just not be not have to travel and you know all that crap and he's like yeah okay okay and then so that's one side of things if he does buy an apartment in the city he'll come very handy for me uh, yeah but then Nathan and I also said him well if you buy a house you know you can set that up you don't houses aren't that at the moment because he's a first home buyer if he built he would get a lot more government incentives as opposed to if he brought something pre-existing so you know we're trying to say to him we'll get the best out of all the government incentives that are happening you know build a house um i mean he could actually probably get to and you know purchase an apartment that's being built and still get the um government incentives but i don't think it's as much as um, it currently is for building houses so whoops there we go um, so yeah we'll see what happens there I mean he could I'm just trying to get under that to make sure that it's sitting he yeah he's probably going to leave leave the state um, down the track we'll see wait and see what happens um, he does have a girlfriend and she's over in Queensland now so we'll see what happens whether he goes over there or whatever she's studying um, so yeah, she's studying I, ha I actually haven't met her yet so but she seems to make him happy uh, which is what we want for our kids um yeah uh, oh got Grinch photos <laughs> okay, hang on a sec here we go I've got to share these I've just got to make sure I'm not going to show their faces um I'll try and pop a pic pop a picture in there of them um they thought it was pretty cool they thought it was pretty cool uh, yeah so Christmas jammies I've warned him I said I'm going to try and make that a tradition where I buy them Christmas jammies um, I used to do it for my boys when they were you know both at home Christmas they got the same matching pajamas for Christmas 
and we do it for Easter as well but for Christmas um, yeah well, this is the first Christmas so I get my, myself organized to do one for Christmas for Easter as well for them but obviously I have to wait till closer to Easter which I actually don't know when that is I think that's in April sometime this year soon find out um, when you work shift work you don't take notice of when when the public holidays fall because you're going to work whether you're on if you're on roster you're on roster it doesn't matter whether it's a public holiday or not and you don't get paid any extra for it either um, okay Um, I think that's about it. That is about it. I will leave this video here. I will um, yeah, I'll leave this one here. There's not much more going on that I can share. Um, I think this video is nearly an hour long, so uh, nice little whip and chat for you. Comments are caught up with. I just have to type type into them and type my comments <clears throat> and that's where I've got to be slack um, oh, I think that's about it I think that covers it yep that covers it I'll stop here anyway um, and so gems thank you for watching comment like subscribe all that jazz and uh, bye for now